Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're going to start updating our app to be the newest version of our app layout. You can see that newest version right now if you download the app itself, it is live. So if you go to traveltreasury.app, you'll be able to get links to download it on iOS or Android. But essentially what we're going to do in this video is just set up our navigation so that it has this nice button here as well as have this new page come up here. We're not going to fully build out this page in this video, but we are just going to change the navigation. To get started with this, the first thing we're going to do is create a new Dart file. And because this new page we're creating is going to become our calculator deposit view, we're going to call this the deposit view. And this will be a state full widget, so we can actually just create that right now and call it the deposit view and we will need to import material. If you do option enter on the Mac, you will be able to import that. Quickly, let's make the background color of this that indigo color so we'll know we're on this page. We can add a text field as well. All right, so you'll notice nothing changes in our app. We have no way to actually navigate to this. So if we go into our navigation view, which is where we set up our tab bar navigation. And if you need to see how to set that up, I'll link the video down below of how to get this set up how it is now. You'll see this past trips view is our middle icon right here. We actually are not going to have a past trips view in our updated version of the app. So we're gonna remove that and we're gonna replace it with the deposit view. And we will need to import that deposit view package as well and we can remove the past trips view from there so if you save that this past trips link will now link you to the deposit view you can see it has the purple background and the let's actually just remove the text so the whole thing is just purple that looks good a few things we want that raised icon here so let's go ahead and find where we are actually calling this past trips view which is this one right here. And how we're going to set this up is this is always going to be here, but we're going to have a raised button icon on top of it. So really the information here is not going to be used other than the text. So the icon is really not gonna be used, but we can make this the, um, the money icon, which is attach money. And then let's just call this save for the label. And you'll notice in a second, this label will still be used, but the money icon here is going to be replaced. So inside the scaffold itself, above the navigation bar, really you can do it in any location, but above the navigation bar is where we're gonna place this. We're going to add a floating action button. And this floating action button is going to be of type floating action button, and then there are a few parameters we pass it. So the first one is going to be the on pressed. And this on pressed is going to tell that button where to go, obviously. So to get this floating action button to just use what's in our list right here for our deposit view, essentially, we can just say that it is the tab bar of this, of this item in the array. So this is gonna be the item at index one because this is gonna take zero, one. So really we just want the item at index one to be the action of that. So the on press is gonna use the on tab tapped, which, which you'll notice down here is just going to set the current tab index to the index of the item in this list array up here. So we're gonna pass that index as a hard one because we always are going to want it to be that deposit view. If you do have more items in your navigation bar, like maybe you have five items and the one in the center is where this raise button is gonna be, then you would need to adjust that to be obviously. Then we can add a tool tip and we're going to call this add savings. And then we can give it actually an icon. We can give it that same icon we have down here, which is the attach money icon, but you'll see it will look different. Um, we're gonna also color this icon to be that indigo color. And then two more things we're going to give it. One is the elevation, and we're gonna set this to 4.0. And then we're also going to set a background color. And this will be the background color of the actual button itself and that will just be white. So it'll be a white button with an indigo money icon in it. So if you save that, you'll notice the button is displaying, but it's not displaying where we want it to. It's all the way over on the right here. 
But if you click it, it does bring you to this page. And all we need to do to center it in the middle here of the dock is actually explicitly tell it to the location we want. So we will use this floating action location floating action button location. We're gonna set that equal to the floating action button location and then we're gonna use center dock, center docked, and that is going to center it on the dock here. And you'll notice the button is down here and you can actually kind of slightly still see that icon behind it. The icon is still going to be there, but the reason you can slightly still see it is actually the font that I'm using in this setup here. So I'm gonna change the font over to the quicksand font, which is what which is what I'll be using for the full the whole app really. And you can see once that font has been changed, the icon is now hidden behind this button here. So one thing you might notice is this app bar up here and it is on every page, but we're in our new updated design, we're actually not gonna have that. So we can actually just remove that. It's pretty simple if you go, while we're in this navigation view, if you remove the whole app bar here, and now it does look funny on the top here, but in this page, it looks much better. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. We now have our floating raised action button in the middle of our tab bar down here. It's a bit of a shorter video, but I think it is good to have this standalone. And in the next video, we will be building out this actual calculator deposit view page here. So subscribe if you haven't already to be notified about that. <laughs>